what is fury elements so if you want to build an application without any coding experience on javascript and technology related to ui5 we can use fury elements fury element boost sap fury development efficiency by allowing us to increase developer productivity a improved user experience consistency with enterprise readiness so developer productivity it focuses more on business logic and back end services writing very less ui code or almost negligible ui code reduce the development cost and maintenance cost it offers the ux consistency which means if you build one application using fury element and train your users on that yeah you did training for user these users can then use the same knowledge what they gain with multiple apps so it comply with latest sap fury design specification deliver a centrally managed user experience include uniform layout navigation search and filtering capability enterprise readiness helps you to deliver high quality ui5 applications to the end user which are stable optimize ui code out of the box so you don't have to do coding to get the ui created of course you have to do coding but at a cds level not at a ui level in the past as a ebab developer we used to do the coding with the pbo pai selection screen basically building the ui you do ui specific coding but now with this approach you don't have to do any ui specific coding it include standard enterprise features like accessibility mobile translation and support so all these capabilities also come out of the box with fury element fury element is a framework provided by sap just like rap is a framework fury element is also a framework so there are two approaches to build fury applications in the market some of you are aware of it the first approach is called fury style fury development in your organization ey we are also conducting regularly the fury development course where we teach ui5 with freestyle approach so you can check with your lnd team when is the next batch for freestyle ui5 application development and you can join that but in our current training we will focus on fury elements so what's the difference between these two approaches first is overall approach with freestyle ui5 development you get flexibility but with uh, fury elements you get efficiency so if your goal is to design a very uh, you know customized application you go with freestyle development but if you want to follow the sap design guidelines and you want to follow sap given template then you go with fury elements because there you get efficiency now look at the last one total cost of development and maintenance in case of freestyle application since you are putting every single component of your app manually as a developer you are writing every bit and pieces of code then the development uh, cost is very high whereas in fury elements as you will see today the development cost is very low because you don't have to write much of ui coding it will be auto created by sap then coming to design requirements in freestyle app there is a freestyle design requirement whereas in fury element we used templates there are different types of templates like list report which is the most used template today in the market then we have work list we have freestyle we have analytic list page we have overview page and we have edit list report these are the five to six different templates we have to stick to the template so a template will give you the fixed skeleton that this is will be the look and feel of your application then coming to development knowledge if you use freestyle then you have to have web development knowledge which includes html css javascript and jquery whereas in case of fury elements we have to have knowledge on annotations yeah annotations which you will see today basically the cds specific ui annotations application ownership and maintenance with freestyle application development the uh, the application ownership will be through own coding and own ui logic whereas in fury uh, elements it will be 
based on annotations our annotations we will be putting and the ui coding will be created by sap sap's ui logic will be used so that is the reason the development and maintenance cost is very low in fury elements in the current training we will focus on fury elements only but in the future you can join our capm training or you can specifically join ui5 training with us where we will cover uh, the freestyle fury app development call